I'm going to demonstrate the cast on bullion knot found on page 164 in Sue Spargo's Creative Stitchery book. And here's an example of two made with a size 8 thread and using a size 3 milliner's needle. This one is size 5 thread with a size 1 milliner's needle. So I'm going to do another one of these to demonstrate. So you bring the needle up from the back of the fabric. And just like a regular bullion knot, you're going to go down and then come up near the emerging thread. And you want to be just slightly to the left of that thread. slightly to the left and I did about a 3 8 of an inch bite there. I'm going to put 14 wraps on this to do one similar to that one. Okay so the way I do the wraps is I take the thread, I pull it with my index finger and then using my thumb I make a loop like so and then I slip that loop over the needle like a slip knot. And you want to pull that knot, half knot, all the way down to the base of the needle. And I twist it, make the loop, slip it over the needle, pull it snug down to the bottom. Twist it, make your loop, put the loop over the top of the needle, down to the bottom. So I have three on there, I'm going to do 14. So there's four. five, six, sometimes you need to slide the needle up a little further to give yourself more room, Okay, here's 13 and there's 14. Okay, so you want to hold that between your thumb and your index finger just to keep the, the tension correct on the needle, but you want to hold it loosely because you're going to go ahead and pull that through. And then just as with the bull knot, bullion knot, you're going to go ahead and pull that towards yourself as you tighten the tension and pull the thread up. So it makes a nice pretty little scallop like that. To anchor that stitch, you're going to go down right next to where the th um, thread's emerging from the, fa the fabric. So I'm going to go down right there to anchor it. And as you can see, that is a loose stitch right now. And you may want you may want it to be that way, depending on what you're what you're doing. But sometimes you want it to lay flat like so. And to anchor it, I kind of go back up right in the middle, right on the edge, and just do one tiny little tack stitch right on the edge in the center of the scallop. And that just holds it nicely in place so it's nice and flat. And that is the cast on bullion knot. Okay.